Perth researchers are testing a portable artificial pancreas that could change the lives of children with type 1 diabetes. WA is leading the nation in this type of research with the help of Telethon. Our guest reporter is Professor Jonathan Karapetis from the Telethon Institute. 14-year-old Kira Quirk was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes five years ago. Simple things like exercise and when she eats have to be carefully monitored. Kira is helping to test the next generation insulin pump, which works like an artificial pancreas. What's different? It not only gives her insulin, it monitors her sugar levels and importantly can predict when they might be going high or low and adjust the dose. Yeah. So Kira's wearing one of these glucose sensors and it's sitting just under her shirt, in, in her belly, and you replace it every five or six days. It measures the glucose under the skin and then it sends a message via um, the system to the BlackBerry. Another major fear for diabetics is going to sleep. At night, levels can fall dangerously low. Many parents get up regularly through the night to check their child's levels. The artificial pancreas could do that for them. Some of them sleep with their kids because they're so worried about letting them sleep on their own. At the moment, the technology is being tested in hospital with the hope of home trials soon. Yeah. Telethon starts Saturday night and the money raised helps fund this kind of vital research. What's your ultimate dream about the research? To not ever have to do any blood glucose levels checks so that I can just be normal. Jonathan Karapetis, reporting for Seven News.